Ronaldo was not able to. Yeah, it certainly shows some nice confidence from the side of a free thinking, you know, a, a better team would not have gone for the dive. They see it fails, they just back off and uh, you continue with the win. But I'm going to hold that thought as Edge is in a lot of trouble here. The flash comes in and First Blood easily going to be handed over to Spirit. And a lot of the story, I freaking need to be ahead. So far, so good. Well, we are going to have a chance down here in the bottom side. He is actually going to get the stun here on a Kramer. Trying to flash away those two shin. He's getting extremely low. The rocket jump comes in and race collapsed back in the bottom lane. You know, there's a lot of overlapping control mages, assassins. Sion is basically physical damage Galio in many ways. Naka misses again here from Roach, but now call the fort shot coming in as he does pick him up. The kidnap as well. He's trying to fight back with his own cannon barrage, but the flash comes in now Kuro trying to go 1v2 there's going to be the big knock up spirit coming from the river as well is going to be knocked dead as well but Roach getting extremely low spirit looking to get that stun on in but is it enough damage from the Sejuani Kuro not able to close the gap they're going to split their attention spirit on to one Roach looking dead on the opposite side he's having trouble getting Zach down here but he does as the Globlets do come in and finally Kuro on the backside also picks Picks up his own in their next four matches. So if they can actually perform and win a match in the playoffs, that'd be big. As Spirit's looking for the lane gank. Trying to hop away here, but you only have so much escape without your flash up. So a nice lane gank there from Spirit. Warmog's already though, so he can walk up. Crucial that Ray's able to survive that turn in the oh secret. Boy. No more cosmic radiance now. The flash comes in. Secret trying to heal himself up, but it's not enough. The knock up from Roach, but he's putting himself in a position to die as well. That's going to be two kills going over the side of the Freaka and probably the back. He's still alive, but he's going to walk over just the most ward set up for exactly this oh. moment. Oh, the barrel onto two members. It's going to be two of them going down. And now only Ray's left over. A Freaka, they wanted to get as many kills as possible, specifically Ray's before the Baron, but too easy for the side of Afrika. Now, there's double Bannon. Now the base will be broken. Double Bannon coming in, and the flash forward from Kramer as well. He is bloodthirsty. Unfortunately for him, the kill goes over to Keem. But the, what they want really is the kill here on the Kongdu Monster. They want to end the game right now, Valdez. They got those three bannered up minions here with the Baron coming on in. It's the zoo. Everyone's here. I know. Only one cannon, but he's got his two friends in. Kuro playing with his food on the back line, giving Kramer so much room. These guys, they want to go home early. Tristana disappeared. That's certainly going to be the game. Even the call of the Forge God gets blocked and before 28 minutes Afrika take game number one and go for that victory in the lane oh baby too soon you ever read the the book series series of unfortunate events no but I'm familiar with it well I'll, I'll hold my thought we got a trade up here trying to beat in raise or other keen the flash immediately comes out with the follow-up and the smite nice. killing first blood good moves there from the top jump a bit of a leash because he's been Held down so well after the lane gank earlier, and they're looking for more here, trying to hold down Keen even further. Keen's in a lot of trouble. The flash rune prison coming on in. That lasts for so long. He doesn't have a hook shot available, and that's going to be the kill given. Over to Edge on the rise. Have a couple lost of them last year. Mm -hmm. Griffin is the real hype, but speaking of hype, everyone's bot lane. Yeah, we got four members down here. They're trying to gang up on the robot here, but he's got a stopwatch. Doubtful it'll help him out. One last hook is going to do it, and they actually trade one back. Soul getting low, too. Kramer looking to follow this Where's one Talia? up. The rise is kind of scary, but here comes that wall. Right? No, it's on cooldown. It's so close to coming off. Kuro on the chase now. They don't want to let them go. They can push up with the minion wave. The Weavis wall will keep them under the turret. Yeah, it's about to get off cooldown here, but now we have TP coming Canceled. in. But Canceled. Canceled. Oh. And that baits them in, unfortunately. Raze goes down now. Spirit, especially tanky. Trying to get onto Soul here. There's the flash. One more kill. It looks like Edge may be an eventuality here. So they let her get away. Get a flash, but no more. Still, nice little trade for Raze. Alt on a short cooldown, but his ult's down. Yeah, look at that damage coming out of Kramer now. Oh. The rocket grab goes barely wide, but it's going to be picked up eventually from the Kuro. But the damage being traded back. Soul getting a little bit scary now. Roach looking for that Meganar. They're going to be able to pick up Kuro on the back end here. K Kramer, what we've seen recently. Sliding scales, of course, is we're going aggressive. Yep, that's what they like to do here, and a couple of members going to be caught out. Spirit, though, 
has the ability to go over the wall. Looks like it's on cooldown, though. So Tucson sees it all the way along. Are they going to contest here? Oh, the wall yes. comes in. Five members in the pit, and the top pens in the front. The double dive picks up. That's not going to be stolen, though. And eventually, Tucson is the one that gets low. They have the counter engage on to raise here, but that's only one for one. Kramer trying to pick off someone else, Lots but the members out of here. So getting to work. They're not on doing the it fast parent. enough, though. No Weaver's wall once again. The poke coming in is getting quite low. Uh -oh. The hop over the wall. They're trying to steal they it. They do it. They do it. Spirit gets the steal and so disappears off of the map. Now it's five on four. They're trying to disengage, but no Robor. Uh, look at this though. Rhodes trying to do something on the back line. He goes down. Now Ray's getting extremely low. Kuro looking for the pick here. Rhodes coming out of his GA, looking to go down. Edge extremely low on the left side. They finally pick him off. And Afrika with one. To stack that one up as well. Oh, he actually missed it throughout all of it. Hold on, hold the point. Yeah, they're trying to go on in here. Even the Predator being used. But look at it in the front line. Roach gets decimated right off the front. They try to get the kill. Now Keen coming in from behind. Gonna have to swallow up that edge there. But now he's being chased down. Keen not gonna let anyone get away. And this is just one-sided by Afrika, trying to take everyone out. Only Raze is left available. They try to make something happen. And with devoured one of them. So, get the objective. What was the wall for? Taking the turret. They got the objective, and they continue to push this. There's the ult. Well, they get it onto Tom Kench, and three ultimates used to take him out. That's all you need. Oh. And Soul gets one shot by Keen. That was dirty. He's not behind anymore, Papa, saying, get out of my game. Kramer, finally, another hook comes in from Tucson, trying to get some more. Uh, damage here, but that's gonna be it guys a quick 2-0 victory 40 minutes this time from the side of Afrika You want to try your best you're not gonna try new things against this team unless it's something uh, zero damage What uh, trying to get on to con now? We'll see if they can lock this in the push forward one more auto will do it and the first blood goes over to crazy It looks sloppy, but hey it works Although for now he's pretty much alone finally has the bottom lane joining him in and they're going for crazy, trying to get that proc in. Gorilla, though, just running by. They're going to burst him down. And the TP comes in from Ignar now. And after the 4v4 or the 5v5, especially if Caitlyn is not there, Khan had to use his flash a second time, and they might just dive him anyway. Oh, boy, not having the most fun game. There's the knock up into the Nar stuns, and down he does go two on one underneath the turret. He's KZ, you're, you're looking at a fun time for those two teams. Looking for BDD, who doesn't have that. He's All right. Double scoop. He wants to make up for that last play. We'll see if he can get something here. Trick makes it out, and BDD gets low. He's going to trade it one for one after all of that. That was so much action around the mid. Great it scoop. It is really only the Sejuani. There's a Braum there to answer it. So a bit oh. strange. It's okay in the back line. Gorilla's just been thrown around this game, but he makes it out this time. Trick knocked over the wall, and down he goes. And Gorilla, finally, they find the kill. But Temps, he's going to pay for it on the end of it. Crazy, trying to make a name for himself. Going 1v2 in the back line. But he's all alone. Once again, the stun going to come in. The flash trying to make something of it, but it's too much. 1v3. Well, we have a play set up here from BBQ looking on to Gorilla once again. They're just trying to feast onto this guy. And in the end, it's going to be Trick who gets baited in by himself. Not sure what's going on, but these guys are fighting so, so much. Peanut now on the front line. We got Kyle oh! the barrels coming on in, doing the damage, and he goes down mid ultimate. BDD, he doesn't have a flash to use, but makes no the game will end. In fact, honestly, the game may end, whatever happens. Better command is going to be enough, but they finally fight BDD in the front. He stopwatches in their face, says no. Trick has got to answer to that. There it is, the flash. He gets two in the backside. Even though he goes down, he's looking to win this game for his team. Three members of BBQ going to go down. They're not even trying to end the game. They want to get more kills. They're flashing in. They get a triple now. For They're going Prey. for it. They want the quadra. <laughs> they don't want to end it. And finally, the minions tell them to get out of the game. They're tired. Not his famous Italy that was never defeated. Head Although away. The blasting plant has spawned by now, even though it is a bit later on 8.4. And here we go. Finally, they do engage. And Strick is going to go down to a long spear from Peanut. First blood. Just says, well, this is going to be a kill. And it was too easy going on to Trick. Remember that it's no tracker's knife. So Peanut was always going to be relatively go. buff. And speaking of Peanut. Crazy getting low. And Peanut is bloodthirsty. Picks up another kill. Khan. 
Nearly loses his life for it. But... So much more conservatives. Why we don't really understand. First pick Olaf into weaker lanes. But maybe Olaf can get a trade here. Yeah, here we go. Not looking so good for Khan. He's just trying to survive here with the barrel coming in. And finally, that last swing of the two axes as Trick finally he's just tanking the turret maybe a little bit too much as the flash comes out of there now the tp have they gone too far is the question it's going to be khan trying to make his way out but on the minute axis they're going to re-engage here and that olaf is way too low down he goes not tanky at all now it's three on one they are styling on bbq but uh -oh. maybe a little bit too much here comes corky he's going to be able to pick up one and khan getting extremely low he just walked into it i think wasn't quite in parlay range. It's on the main screen. We've got action going on. Peanut is at it again. They're going to knock away that Galio. The Canabarize comes in. Another situation doesn't look good for King Zone. But again, it looks like they're going to get out here. The axe coming in. They're turning up the trick. Cosmic Gradients now on the Tassel. Looking to get out to Gorilla, who flashes away after using the perfectly timed ultimate. Now they're turning up the trick. Peanut, he wants blood again. He's going to get one. And flashing in now is Prey. One auto would do it, but he misses. And finally, Temp's coming in. The perfect block. How does Never that... satisfied. A TP Speaking is coming of more. in. They will go for another kill. They're going for Ghost. There's one. Can they make it two? The cleanse on Ignar. Will it save his life? The answer here is looking like a no. The heal coming in. Peanut goes <laughs> too deep. Again, they're just playing with their food. The phosphorus. And he was up. Uh, <laughs> he couldn't get the E in because the turret went behind the turret and opened up space. Outrageous signal. Really wants Hello. to flash. Uh, let's see if he can. The answer's going to be no. Prey shutting him down with the help of his teammates. He's just waiting for it. They're going to make the play happen themselves. Who's the flanking who? Comes in. They're like, wait, what the hell? Are we the ones that are debated? The answer is yes. As crazy, no way out of this one. Hextech ultimatum even used to secure that kill. Some the side of BBQ. Right, he's probably not going to try to repel 1v2. I say probably. You said probably. Maybe you said it a little bit too fast. His ghost is getting low. He got the right. movement speed. Yeah, look at that. The Dazzle he misses. Does he, it. he did it. Oh, he actually did it. 1v2, <laughs> Prey. He doesn't want to let Peanut get all the... BDD and Khan looking to solidify that. Now, BD, right. he's, he's just going 1v3 mm. at this point. Finally, he's going to have some help from behind. The double taunt comes in, and the flash on in with the justice punch. That's going to be one kill. He's going to be locked down. Trick, you're not going anywhere, as it is now five on four as they push. And Nidalee together can probably kill someone with two Qs. Ult here for the emergency engage. They're going to try for it. Running at the virus, and he disappears. As he said, he's got that ability, but he disappears. And Temps now getting extremely low. They're fighting for their lives, but they have nothing left to fight for at this point. King Zone with the Baron up. Bannon minion, that's Steve Bannon himself coming on in to this one. Trying to get the win in 25 minutes, perhaps, as the Super Minions pushing on in the mid lane. That's going to do it, guys. The curtains are closing early. The show's over. Getting that last kill is Peanut. And down will go the Nexus. The Zonias once again. Not the first time we've seen that. Quick 2-0 from King Zone Dragon X. And